Hey guys, I haven't made uh, a programming video in a while, so I thought I'd do make a programming exercise. Uh, this is going to be over the Euclidean algorithm, or however you say it. Uh, I just made a math video on it, so if you haven't watched that, go watch that first, because this won't make sense unless you un have learned the Euclidean algorithm already. Um, but I just wrote a program to do it. Uh, I'm not going to write it on here but um yeah go watch the math video and uh if you want to try it go ahead and try it and if you don't get it then you can watch this but uh i'll just walk through it um so first what i did is i declared all the variables i need uh the dividend divisor remainder num1 and num2 uh and I, I don't have a quotient or anything like that because it's uh, not necessary we don't need uh, use it for anything um this is sort of just uh informing the person, you know, what's what the program's going to do. Uh, the purpose of num1 and num2 is just so that um, the user inputs them into, you know, they take in both numbers, and then depending on which one is larger, or if they're the same, it would fall under this category, but say if the first one they enter is bigger than the second one, uh, remember in the math one, the bigger number becomes the dividend and the smaller number becomes the divisor so that's why I did it like that and then otherwise if uh, if num1 is less than or equal to num2 uh, it gets put in the opposite way so um, and then I have a do while loop and it just loops until the remainder is equal to zero uh, while the remainder is not equal to zero it keeps looping uh, I mean yeah while the remainder is not equal to zero it keeps looping um, so first, the remainder, you have to use integers uh, to be able to do the the remainder. Um, that's why I'm not using float or anything like that. But uh, So the dividend modulus divisor, uh, I'll give you an example of this. Okay, so say the dividend is 5, and then the divisor is 2. So this would, remainder would equal to be equal to 1, because 2 goes into 5 twice, and there's 1 left over, right? Uh, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 so hopefully that makes sense remainder would be equal to 1 in that situation um, and then if the remainder is not equal to 0 uh, which it wouldn't be in that case the dividend becomes the divisor and the divisor becomes the remainder just like in the math video that's uh, probably confusing if you haven't watched it so uh, or, or if you have watched it and don't get it just uh, comment and tell me you know, you don't understand, I'll explain it to you uh, better, hopefully. And then, um, but say the, the numbers were, I don't know, 25 and 5, so it would uh, be, uh, there would be no remainder after that. And uh, 25 would have been the dividend because it was the bigger number, and 5 would be the divisor. So the greatest common factor of both would be 5. And it would break the loop come out here and say the GCF of num1, so 25 and 5 is 5. And then set w is basically, it spaces out and it lines everything up. It's actually real cool. If you want to use it, um, you have to include iomanip and uh, using uh, the standard set w. Uh, and that'll let you do this. And this uh, means how many times you're going to space out. So this is going to space this out 15 times. Um, and then outputting GCF, um, this is the proof here. I'll, I'll just run it because otherwise it's going to be uh, confusing. Okay. Um, enter the first number. So we could do, uh, like in the other video, uh, I used 123 and 36. Uh, the GCF 123 and 36 is 3, and the proof is 3 times 41 is 123, and 3 times 12 is 36. And I have it down here. Let's see if I, can, oh, I can't move it. Fuck. Okay, well, I guess it'll be alright. Um, I'm trying to explain this part right here. Okay, the way I get 41 is you take the number and you divide it by the divisor. So if it was... Uh, so 123 divided by 3 is 41. So that's where it's going to output the 41. And then equals right there. And then the, the 41 times 3 
is equal to 123. And I did the same thing with this one. So this would be uh, 36 divided by 3 is 12 equals uh, 12 times 3, right, is 36. So hopefully that makes sense and it works. <laughs> so uh, if you have any uh, questions or anything like that, just ask. If you want the code, you can ask me also. Thanks.